Hello everybody, it's Squidus Nerds, and today I'm working on a gouache painting time lapse. Um, which is, it's just a little rabbit, and surrounded by some flowers. Which, I mean, it's a pretty simple concept, but it's inspired by an exhibition I saw at the Art Gallery of New South Wales recently called, um, The, the Lady and the Unicorn. And it's basically a series of six tapestries. And they all feature a, a lady, a unicorn, and a lion. And they're pretty famous tapestries from the Middle Ages, like very historically significant and all that. And they represent like the six, well, the five cent senses plus the sixth sense, which is kind of mysterious. It's not real. It's not really um, completely like described in the artwork, but um, it's like. It's kind of related to the soul, which, I mean, was interesting. I just really liked it because it was like, it was, it's hard to explain, but it's like, if you imagine standing in front of the Mona Lisa or the Last Supper or some amazingly historical artwork, but with only a few people, because I went after school one afternoon and there were not that many people there because people have lives. Um, but like, I don't know, I just tried to take little small things from it. So. Something I really liked in the tapestries was the backgrounds. So it's like, um, they all have kind of a really nice colour scheme. It's not something which I'd expect because, like, it's quite different to other colour schemes I've seen. It's like navy blue and kind of a faded pastel red with, like, with lots of, There's a lot of detail in, in, these, in these tapestries. So the backgrounds are all, like, flowers, but they're kind of almost... They almost look like a wallpaper. Because it's like, I think I'm, I might put a photo of the thing up in the video in a sec. But um, the it's almost like a wallpaper because there's no like depth or anything. Because this was painted like a long time ago. I don't think ideas like perspective and stuff really existed. But it's just a really nice pattern. So I wanted to use that in the background of this one. And there's just like animals just frolicking around in the in, in the flowers, and it's nice. Um, so yeah, that's where I got the inspiration from this artwork, I guess. Lately I've been feeling kind of, I don't want to say uninspired, because I have had inspiration, but I guess not really that motivated to draw, and I feel like when I do draw, it's not, it doesn't always, uh, it's like, it's not, it doesn't feel as liberating as it used to, which is a bit upsetting sometimes. but. I feel like it's just something that I'm going to have to per 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 persevere through because it doesn't mean I love art any less, I guess. But, yeah, so that's kind of a bit of a bummer, but I'm, you know, trying to keep keep on track to get things back. I've been, I've fallen really off track with working on these YouTube videos, so I'm going to be uploading this one today and hopefully I'll have another one recorded and sent out tomorrow because I haven't uploaded in weeks and weeks. Um... I'm working on quite a few projects at the moment. There's um, there's this card game called Dixit, and um, th this this drawing, this painting is actually um, it's for a series I'm trying to make um, of like, because the the card game it's it's based around image and interpretation, and it's I feel like I might have talked about this before actually, but it's um. Basically, you get these really surreal images, and you have to interpret them. And it's a, it's a game which you play with other people, funnily enough. <laughs> um, and yeah, so, but it comes with a set of 84 cards, which can be used in lots of other image interpretation card games. And I'm, and I was gonna, and I've been trying to create my own set of 84 cards because I feel like it could be really fun. Um, I'm painting this with with gouache, which is a medium I've only recently picked up. Basically, I used it first in my school art classes and I, I really liked it. It's just so smooth and it's a style which I haven't done much before because it's so, it, so it, lends itself, it lends itself so much to doing things which are really flat and graphic and I like it. It's, it's nice and you can, it's, I feel like it's good for experimenting with colours because I haven't really done that much with colours before. I mean, if you've seen some of my previous work, it's all pen and pencil stuff, which I really do love doing grayscale. I feel like it 
can really simplify things down so that you can get like really emotional with it. But I feel like colour has a lot to add to artwork, so it's something which I haven't explored much before. And I like exploring it through gouache just because I never really enjoyed colour pencils. It just seemed a bit too it just didn't it just didn't didn't work for me, but I like gouache better than other paints because like it dries so fast, so you can just lay things on and re redo them and kind of experiment. It's really good for experimenting, whereas with like things like oil paints, you like if you get it wrong, you gotta wait a week for it to dry, <laughs> and then and then you have to go 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 over the top. So yeah, it's fun. Um, I originally had a set of about twelve student quality gouache paints and I really didn't like them that much like they weren't anything like the ones I tried at school they were just <clears throat> yeah well they were student qualities but they weren't that great so recently a couple of weeks ago I went to this art shop in um, Newtown which is kind of yeah um, it's it's like a suburb with, with a lot of artsy stuff um, and I bought myself a not really a set, I just picked out a few colours of gouache, but they're really good gouache paints. Like they were almost like they were eight dollars a tube, so they were pretty expensive. I spent a hundred bucks on them. And um but I liked picking out the colours because I felt like there were so many different reds and so many different blues. And I feel like I picked out the ones which I liked the most, not necessarily the warm, cool thing, because I feel like that can really influence my painting style, like without me even trying it's just kind of yeah so I mean the, the distinctions I made I picked crimson instead of a brighter red just because I like crimson better <laughs> and I feel like that's going to lead to some really interesting color combinations in painting so that's what I'm really looking forward to um to experimenting with so hopefully I'll be able to get some other gouache videos up here just because I haven't been doing pen drawing as much lately and yeah we'll see I'm having a lot of fun experimenting with as many new mediums as I can, just to give myself a, a good foundation, because, I mean, I used to be kind of afraid that if I tried new stuff, I kind of lose skills with my old stuff, and maybe that's a bit true, but I also think I'll be able to pick it up again, so, you know, there's not really any point limiting myself, and I'm kind of rambling at the moment, and it's the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely weekend.